Welcome everyone. We are very proud and happy to welcome you in 2021, which is the year of CPT's 35th anniversary. We have been working along our partners for peace and justice in different uh, places on the, in the world uh, for 35 years. And this year we're going to celebrate the time we have, uh, we have worked with our partners. Uh, my name is Muriel Schmidt. I am the current administrator, administrative director for Christian Peacemaker Teams, and I'm calling from the United States on Turtle Island. And I'm joined uh, today with uh, my direct colleague, uh, Milara Rincon calling from Colombia. Bienvenidas y bienvenidos todas y todos a este año muy especial de celebración. Equipos Cristianos de Acción por la Paz celebra 35 años desde su creación. Les estamos invitando a todas y a todos a que sean parte de esta jornada con nosotros. Mi nombre es Milena Rincón, soy la directora de programas y hablo desde Colombia en Sudamérica. As we are entering this year and reflecting back on the work of uh, Christian Peacemaker teams, we wanted to share a few of our uh, thoughts about the work of Christian Peacemaker teams. And uh, first, we were uh, we were wanted to share the main reason, the main reason why we uh, are working uh, for Christian Peace Market teams and we're committed to this work. And so, for me, I would say that the main reason is um, the commitment that Christian Peacemaker teams has made to uh, nonviolence. Uh, to question Christian hegemony and uh, to work in terms of undoing oppressions across the world. And for me, uh, the main reason why I am with CPT is because Christian Peacemaker Teams is an organization working to transform situations of violence and oppression together with those who are most affected by those contexts. And uh, I have been uh, with CPT, I trained with CPT almost eight years ago, uh, and I served in the organization in different capacity. And I think that the, the main learning for me has been uh, around white privilege and trying to understand the lens of uh, undoing up or using the lens of undoing oppression in all the contexts of my uh, my life. Um, and so uh, broad, it has broadened for sure the way I look at uh, powers, uh, dynamics of power, dynamic of, uh, dynamics of privilege and so on, and has put me on a journey uh, on that, uh, with that lens. And so that was something really new for me and I, I continue to learn a lot from my colleagues in CPT. For me, the main learning I have, I have got from working with CPT for 18 years is how important it is to truly listen the voices of our partners. We usually tend to arrive to this work with a preconceived and very passionate ideas on how the work for peace can be done. However, the voices of our partners are the ones who should guide us on how to work together in their journey for justice and peace. In the work of uh, working towards peace and justice in different contexts, one of the questions that comes up very often is that how do you keep working? How do you keep hope? How do you keep uh, believing in change uh, coming ahead. And so one of the reflections we wanted also to share with you is about the challenge for peace and how we see this uh, challenge um, in the work that CPT is doing. Um, for me, the, the main challenge is, I think, to understand, fully understand uh, the sense of um, interconnectedness and um, we still have a lot to uh, learn around uh, how interconnected the world is and the struggles are and you know this learning will um, is probably the, the biggest challenge uh, ahead of us but we are working toward that and hopefully uh, we'll have a better sense of community um, as we move forward. And for me, the, the main challenge, challenge following what Muriel mentioned is that all, all of us are interconnected and it's important for all of us to understand that each one of us can, is a peacemaker and we can work as peacemakers. And in this way, we can support the work of, of partners for human rights, justice and peace, because this work it will, ben, will benefit all of us in creating a better world. 
So we want to thank you for your support, for the support of the work. Uh, we couldn't do this work without you, without uh, your commitment to peace and to justice. Um, we are entering the uh, 35th year of, or, of uh, Christian Peacemaker teams. Uh, we'll um, share a lot al uh, along the, the, the year about the work of CPT and we're hoping that you're going to journey with us uh, during this year and continue to support us. And uh, to end, uh, I'm going to ask Milena to share one of her uh, most joyful memory of the work on, uh, with CPT. Thank you, Muriel. For me, one of the most um, important moments during these 18 years of work, and I am sure this has been the most important moments for many CPTers, is to share with the partners through a cup of coffee, a lemonade, or a cup of tea, uh, their life experiences, to listen our partners, and to see them smiling with hope about a better future, and how we can be part of their journey for this better future. So join us during this uh, celebration, during this for this 35 year of anniversary, and allow yourself also to be transformed by your partners and by CPT.